Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miyogi Score from Koalab.com. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can compress the large video file without losing the video quality. When we export the video files from any video editors like Adobe Premiere, we found that the video size is very big. If the video length is very long and it becomes 2 to 4 GB in size, and we face the very big problem while sharing online. It takes too much time to upload and if the internet speed is very slower then the problem becomes much more. So uh, today I'm going to use the very simple but advanced tool to compress the video without losing the quality. By using this tool we can achieve up to the compression ratio of 18 to 19. Uh, that means uh, if we compress the video file size of 205 MB we can achieve up to the 11.5 MB so isn't it cool so let's compress the file and make it smaller okay this is a very small and uh, free application you can go and search the Google and break okay, it is written here handbrake is a free and open source transcoder for video files so you don't need to buy this it is available free just click and download wait for some time until the download completed it is only of 12.9 mb okay now the file is downloaded successfully now let's install it okay it is showing file is already installed but I want to reinstall this okay yes okay removed click next next install it it takes very less time for installing this installation has completed successfully now let's open it Okay, it is showing a drop file or folder here. I'll show you by converting the video file. Uh, here you can see this is my video file and it is of 230 MB. Okay, let's drag and drop. okay I have inserted the video file which I want to compress so here you can see in the summary format just click this one mp4 option and check the wave optimize option and go to dimensions left with default go to filter don't do anything here in the video file you can check this one constant frame rate and the very important thing here the quality option so just take the cursor here here you can see suggested values are 80 to 20 for standard definition source and 20 to 23 for high definition because this is my high definition video that's why I'm going to set the constant quality rate to 20 to 23 so let's put it 23 here okay now let's go to audio don't do anything setting is completed now let's click the start encode video compression has started but for some time it doesn't take too much time okay the compression has successfully completed now let's go to the file and let's see where it is recover video files
okay here you can see um, I have put these files this one is compressed and and this one is the original file you can see here the file size of compressed video is 16.7 MB and the original video size is 230 MB so you can see how much we can do it 230 and the 16.7 let's calculate 230 16.7 so let's divide it you can see here I have successfully achieved 13.77% the compression ratio which is very big and let's check the quality of video you can see first let's open the original video Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is new original from kumarlab.com okay, and now. in this and video, uh, today in this video, I'm going to show you compressed video. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is new original from kumarlab.com and in this video, uh, today in this video, I'm going to show you how we can do video in the Okay, that's it for today guys. Hope you'll find this video helpful. If you face any problem while compressing the video, you can leave the comment below in the comment section. And uh, if you found any other useful tools and the better quality video compression tools, you can leave the comment below. This is gonna help others too. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.